Welcome to Prince2 Foundation. This is module number one. A little bit about One World Training. One World Training is a global training, business simulation and training company. And we have offices in the United States, UK, the Netherlands, India, and many other countries uh, uh, globally. We provide training in various uh, best practices. Uh, in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, uh, et cetera, for both individuals and organizations. Uh, we deliver uh, courses in different ways. We offer public classroom-based trainings, online uh, from home or work, uh, and we even provide on-site team training for private and government organizations. And we are an authorized training center and endorsed by leading global professional bodies and uh, uh, you could um, have a look at the various endorsements that we have received from different bodies uh, at the bottom of this particular slide. Now, what are the learning outcomes of the, uh, of the overall program uh, in terms of the uh, Prince2 course? Now, uh, as a part of the uh, Prince2 Foundation course, uh, you would, uh, understand some of the key concepts relating to PRINCE2 and projects. You would understand how the PRINCE2 principles underpin the PRINCE2 method. And uh, uh, people dimension is an important dimension in uh, the latest version of PRINCE2. So you would understand the importance of people in successful projects. And then there are seven practices. Uh, you would understand them and how they are applied throughout the project. Uh, and finally, you would have an understanding of the seven processes and how they are carried out throughout the project. So this is uh, a brief summary of the learning outcomes of the entire course. But to be more specific, module one covers the first aspect of the learning outcome over here. So in module number one, we would look into understanding some of the key concepts relating to projects and PRINCE2. So what exactly are we covering in this module? Uh, we would recall some of the key concepts related to project management. So we would uh, look into some definitions uh, of what we mean by principles, people, practices, processes, and the project context. And these are called the five integrated elements of PRINCE2. So we would kind of define each of these uh, elements. And then we would define what a project is and what project management is all about. And then when we work on projects, we would need to um, uh, measure the performance of the project. Uh, Prince2 gives us seven key variables that we would need to uh, measure and manage. And finally, we would look into the different delivery approaches. Um, now, when we work on a particular type of project, depending upon the nature of the project and uh, the um, kind of uh, complexity and scale of the initiative, you might adopt either a linear approach or an incremental approach or a hybrid approach. So we would kind of look into uh, three uh, different approaches towards delivery as a part of this particular module. Let's kind of look into the five integrated elements of PRINCE2. Uh, now, the acronym PRINCE basically stands for Projects in Control Environment. Uh, now, PRINCE2 is a project management methodology composed of five integrated elements. Uh, and you could kind of see the diagram on the right side of the slide. The five integrated elements are people are at the center. We need to understand the project context. That's the first P. You need to understand the practices. That's the second P. And the principles, third P, processes, number four. And people is number five. So you could kind of think about the integrated uh, elements as five P's of uh, PRINCE2, the five integrated elements of PRINCE2. Let me kind of briefly touch on each of these P's on the next uh, slide. Now, when we think about the PRINCE2 principles, we're talking about some guiding obligations that determine whether the project is genuinely being managed using PRINCE2. Um, these are there are seven principles, and unless all of them are applied, it is not a PRINCE2 project. 
And in fact, the principal principles are explained in greater clarity in the official guide, chapter two of the official guide. An example of uh, a principal principle is, Princeton does recommend that we learn from experience when we work on a particular project. You could learn from the past and you could learn during the project and you could document lessons learned at the end of the project. So that's just an example of one of the seven principles that we're gonna look, look, look at at a later point. The second integrated element is people. Projects need people, mainly those working on the project and those affected by the project. So an understanding of the needs, capabilities, and motivation to the people involved and the relationships between them is crucial uh, to how the project is established and managed. Now, the people aspect of the official guide is covered in chapter three uh, of the manual. So we kind of looked into the first two piece of the integrated framework, principles and the people. And the third P is the practices. Now, when we think about practices in PRINCE2, they basically describe essential aspects of project management that must be applied consistently and throughout the project life cycle. For example, risk is a practice in PRINCE2. Uh, quality is a practice in PRINCE2. And altogether, there are seven practices, and these seven practices explain the specific treatment required of that aspect of the project management for the PRINCE2 processes to be effective and why they are necessary. And these practices are covered from chapters four through uh, 11 of the official guide. Now the fourth P is the processes. There are seven processes and these describe the entire project life cycle from activities before getting started through the stages of project delivery and to the final act of project closure. Each process has checklists of recommended activities and related responsibilities. The principal processes are provided in chapters 11, uh, 12, sorry, through all the way to 19, the chapter of the official guide. The last P is the project context. The principles, practices, and processes are all applied by the people involved to ensure that the method is fit for the project context and, uh, and how principle can be applied to some of the common contexts is outlined in section 1.4 of the official guide. So this kind of summarizes what PRINCE2 is all about. It's an integration of five key elements. Now let's kind of move on to some definitions. How do we define a project? So here we have a definition of a project. It's a temporary organization, meaning it has a definite start date and an end date. And this organization, is created for a particular purpose, and that purpose is to deliver one or more business products according to an agreed business case. So keep the definition in mind. Sometimes you would be asked questions in the exam on the definitions. Well, how do we define project management? Project management is the application of methods, tools, techniques, and competencies to enable the project to meet its objectives. So these are the two definitions pertaining to what a project is and what project management is all about.